Hi guys, welcome to another video from Paul here at CCTV Systems UK. Today we're going to talk yet again about one of our favourite subjects, CCTV intrusion detection. Now don't worry, this isn't going to be one of those really long drawn out videos because I have to paint that border fence today. It's Sunday morning and I'm behind already. But I'm getting lots and lots of emails and messages, uh, certainly on the uh, Facebook page, from people saying they're getting literally hundreds of false alarms every week off intrusion detection. Now, I know it happens. I've seen people who've got systems out there that don't have either analytics or artificial intelligence built into them. So every single movement inside an intrusion area that you've drawn will, of course, push a notification through to your mobile phone if you have the DVR or NVR networked. So here we are, here's an intrusion area, I know it's hard to see, I've been a bit naughty here but I've done it on purpose, I've got the line here at the bottom very close to the edge of the frame and even closer on this side. Now that's a big no-no but of course I've made sure that this one is correctly placed. So of course with artificial intelligence it's not just looking for humans in this area, it's also looking for humans crossing any of these lines. And those two, of course, would be an issue. You're not giving the DVR any time. So, just mentioned humans there. Artificial intelligence is looking for humans inside an intrusion area or crossing into the area over those lines. Uh, these S-Pro DVRs do it extremely well. This is the 4-channel HD version. And it allows two intrusion areas to be drawn with the artificial intelligence working, so looking for humans, vehicles, or both. Now, just humans for us, because it's in my back garden, but as you can imagine, this could be all the way over here to where my conservatory and door is. So, what sets these things off? Well, anything. If you've not got artificial intelligence, cats and dogs are the big ones. Um, if you've got infrared cameras, uh, things like large bugs and moths and things like that flying up to the uh, infrared on your cameras. That will also set them off time after time after time. And the downside to that is you'll just lose confidence in the intrusion detection. And then, of course, you'll start ignoring it. And then that one time that someone does walk into your garden when you're not there, you've not seen it. Why? Because you're sick of it bleeping every two minutes. So artificial intelligence is really important because we want humans. Now, this area is being set up by me. Don't worry, I've done a video on how to set this up and more importantly, how to set the minimum size and set it for humans or vehicles or whatever. Uh, and I will put that link in the description, so don't panic. I just want to show you today how it works. Now then, if I just grab the mouse here and go down to live mode... And I'll just put this in AI mode, which is, of course, artificial intelligence mode. Still got my area there drawn. It's just pushed the picture over. And, of course, now what you'll see is you will see snapshots being filed into this area here every time a human walks into my area that I've specified. As you can see, there have been 67 human movements this morning. And that's because I've been in and out all day, just clearing some rubbish and getting some paint ready to do that blasted fence. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk into that area and let's see if it can tell a human being. Now, I've set the S-Pro DVR with the buzzer on. So you will hear the buzzer first on the uh, DVR and then you will hear a little chime and that's my mobile phone, which is a Samsung, an Android device, here at the side of it. Okay? So it's looking for humans. Let's see if it can do it. As you can see... It's done what it's been told to do. It's seen me going in. There is a snapshot there of me heading into the area. And there is a snapshot there of me heading out. Obviously, the latest movement is always at the top. 
and the human count has now gone from 67 to 69 because it's seen two lots of movements in that area voila it's doing its job you could hear the bleep from my mobile phone i heard it bleep twice so i've now got two notifications as well on my mobile phone right that's doing what it should do let's introduce something a little bit different cats are the bane of owners of cctv why because they'll cruise around through your garden like they own the place and they will constantly set your intrusion detection off. So here is a box. I know it's hard to see, but this box is 9 by 9 by 11. Let's just say roughly the size of a cat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the box over this line and then into this area here. And let's see if it picks it up. If it thinks it's a human... Well, then it's not doing its job correctly, is it? Because clearly the artificial intelligence isn't working right. Here we go. As you can see, the DVR, because it's looking for humans and has a minimum size there. Again, it's on the previous video. I'll put the link up. It's done nothing. No bleep from the DVR, no notification through to my phone, and no more snapshots here. And that is what analytics and artificial intelligence can do. So, to make sure this is a fair cop, I'm now going to walk into that area, retrieve the box, and see if the DVR spots me again as a human. Here we go. As you can see, that's working correctly. So, me walking back into that target area. Again, it's showing us an intrusion and it's a target of a human. And there's me coming back out with the box. The human count has gone up another two. So it's gone from 69 to 71. And if I just jump onto this mobile device, we have four intrusions it says intrusion alarm and it says human which of course matches what we have here on the ai analytics screen i'll just click on the third one which was of course the video of me going to retrieve the box as you can see i'm there the box is in the center live view i won't put the sound on because obviously these dvrs and cameras have all got sound capability And there's yours truly. Now then, that was the second one down. I've just shown you that on a mobile device. That's the video that I can access. I'll just run over. I'll get my pointer stick out and double click here. Picture of yours truly there. It's only a standard picture, but if I press the play button, you can see the area being agitated. Fantastic. That, my friends, is the future. That is how DVRs and NVRs must work now. Now, S-Pro do this DVR. Like I said, it's a four-channel, and it allows two intrusion areas with human vehicles or both. If you do get an NVR, and there's an NVR underneath here, please make sure that you buy the active deterrent cameras, because, of course, on an NVR... The analytics are in there, but it needs an active deterrent camera because the active deterrent camera has all this technology built into it. Don't get me wrong, if you only want it on two channels and you want a four camera system, you buy two standard IP cameras and two active deterrent IP cameras. Easy peasy, Japanese. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've now got to get off and paint that blasted fence. Um, wish me luck if you need any more information in the description there will be a link back to the original video 
on how to do all this, how to set it all up. It's very comprehensive. And as always, there is always a link through to our Facebook page. You're more than welcome to comment on the YouTube page. I'll leave all the comments open so that people can see the questions that have been asked and any answers that we've been able to provide. But the notifications are very problematic. Sometimes we don't get them. And of course, if it's anything that's security-wise, any security questions come through to the Facebook page. Why? It's private and you will always get me, Paul. I answer them all for you. So, I'm going to go do some painting. Enjoy the rest of your bank holiday weekend. I know I'm certainly going to try. Oh, in fact, I'm working tomorrow, so <laughs> that's not cracking. Um, need any more info, please come through to our Facebook page. But I hope I've been able to show you exactly what artificial intelligence can do in terms of intrusion. This is Paul logging off at CCTV Systems UK. I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye now.